Hey, Coach. A uh, quick availability update. Um, we're going to have the same crew that we had in San Antonio, plus Justin Jackson, Horford, uh, Baisley, and Dort uh, tomorrow night. Those guys will all be available as far as we are concerned. And then uh, Darius Miller, Ty Jerome, and Josh Hall are still in like return to play. You know, they're getting work in. They have some bumps and bruises. Uh, they're all active. You know, they're, they're working out and doing stuff like that, but they won't be available tomorrow night. And I'm ready for questions. Thank you, Coach. If anyone has questions, you can go ahead and raise your hands. And we will kick things off with Nick Gallo with Thunder Broadcasting. Mark, uh, you talked about balance the other day and just the, the way that the offense moved the ball. Um, as you've continued to get some work in here over the last few days, uh, how do you feel like that's continuing to progress with your group? I mean, that's a priority, you know, it's a priority to, you know, not only move the ball, but just have balance in our attacks. I mean, if, if an opponent comes out and they start taking something away, we got to take what the defense gives us. And sometimes uh, that's less ball movement on a given night. But at the end of the day, we just want a team that's in the mindset of the whole being better than the sum of the parts and everyone working together to try to find the best shots on offense. And however we need to do that on a given night may change, but uh, the teams have that mentality and we're trying to nurture that every day. We'll go to Paris Lawson with OKCThunder.com. Hey, Mark, just kind of a general question. As you continue to move forward with these preseason games um, and you continue to gather more and more information with you know practices and, and games and such, how much more specific does your focus or your goals become during these preseason games as you move forward? Uh, it's just, it's almost like a progression is how we kind of look at it. It's like, you know, we implement stuff uh, and we take a look at how we're progressing with it and how well we're executing it. And if we're executing it poorly, we try to clean it up and not skip the step. And if we are executing it well, then we can start to layer from there. So it's almost like, uh, you know, the team and the way that we're executing what we're doing in practices and games will lead us in terms of how we do that. So it's not as much specificity as it is, you know, just evaluating where we're at and then progressing to the next thing or going back and cleaning up and some combination of both. Go back to Nick Gallo. Mark, what are your thoughts on Justin Jackson as a player? Uh, he's been in the league a couple of years, but just what can he provide to this group? Still learning him, um, but, you know, it, initial impressions are that, you know, he really knows how to play. He's very skilled. He's got great size for his position. He's obviously had some NBA experiences um, which have helped him, you know, obviously um, with him joining practice, you know, he's a guy that, you know, really knows how to just kind of fit into what we're doing, you know, in a short period of time. And so he's been impressive um, and we really like him. We're looking forward to seeing him out there tomorrow night. Joe Masato with the Oklahoman. Was this his first day of practice, Mark? Justin Jackson? No, no okay. it wasn't. Um, just to follow up to what I was asking you yesterday um, about Billy, I'm just wondering, I know you guys are competitors now, but since he's been a mentor of yours, you know, as you were going through the process, um, interview process with the Thunder, like, did you guys, were you in communication or after you got the job, like, did you talk to him? I, I'm just wondering what the, you know, in the few weeks since you've had the job, what your interactions with him have been like. I mean, for a long period of time now, we've had pretty consistent interactions just because of the relationship there. And so I would say that, you know, during the times you mentioned, there was no more or less communication. Um, and, and even, you know, since getting the job, it's been a little bit less lately just because we're both kind of focused on our teams and um, doing that. But I've, I've spoken to him as recently as uh, less than a week ago, but that's normal, you know, for our relationship. Do, do you like how this sort of worked out of them coming to Oklahoma City for a couple of preseason games? Yeah, sure. I mean, it's it, it's what it is. You know, it's we're just focused on getting better and they're focused on getting better. These games are so valuable, you know, internally for your own team that it really who you're playing against is a little less relevant. Uh, it's more so, you know, how do you use this game to progress your group? And I know that, you know, he and their staff, they're taking that mindset to it as well. So it's less opponent specific at this point in the year. Thanks. Thank you.
Anyone else for coach? Thanks coach. Thank you guys.